So another little fragment of those arpeggios I can think of like in the key of G. I can think of the D. So I'm just going like, you know, from the fifth down. So D F sharp A would be. I'm going A F sharp D A. So all of these are framed with the fifth on top and on the on the bottom. So that's my D. Here's E minor. Right. E minor. Here's F sharp diminished. G major. A minor, B minor, C major, D major, as far as I want to go. Now really, there's only, if I do that, there's only three patterns, right? There's a diminished, major, get a good shot here, major, diminished, Now my right hand is going, I'm picking, uh, I'm going down, pull off, up, up. So it's pretty smooth, the right hand. I guess I could pick it, look, I could go down, up, 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 and do three ups. Jeez. But I, I'm not that good at that, so I do, 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 do a pull off. So then I end up going, um, I end up going D. So you want, you can just slide like I did, it's kind of a violinish. Something like that, or I can do it uh, opposite, like uh, from playing a song. Then I can break up the rhythm, like I just did. Instead of going, take it, take it, take it, sixteenths. I can go like. You know what I mean? And just kind of vary the rhythm and then maybe not play them in sequence. So instead of going D, D minor, I can go. So from the major, D major, F sharp diminished, then E minor to G major. And now I have. And, and in the course of playing, I might play a melody. You know, and those arpeggios. Assist me. 